Hi everybody, my town and country's key fob was acting up lately. I would find that some of the buttons would kind of press by themselves or maybe wouldn't work at all. Sometimes I found the back door, the back hatch kind of opening by itself. And I'm gonna show you what was causing that and how I fixed it. Also, if you have the black rubber part on your key fob, maybe having a hole in it or torn, I'll also show you how you can fix that or replace that. Um, so I'll show you what I found. Okay, so first we need to pull the key out of your key fob. There is a real key in here in case your battery dies so you can get back into your car. So move this slide lever over and then pull out your key out to the side. Now we just need to split apart this key fob. It's kind of made in two halves. So get yourself a flat screwdriver or maybe a butter knife if you're desperate or something and, and just kind of separate it. Right there, and then it should come apart. I've already taken the battery out of mine because it was uh, acting up and opening the doors and whatnot, so I took the battery out temporarily. Um, so normally when you take this apart, there'll be a battery right here. Um, but here's, here's what I found, what was wrong with mine. So these buttons press on this circuit board under here. So just take the rubber cover off um, set to the side. What you'll find is these buttons, each button has a little black metal disc um, where that presses on the circuit board basically. And for the button that was acting up, the black disc had broken free and was just floating around in here. See, it's this one here. It's a, kind of an extra one because it fell off. It's supposed to be down here. Um, you can see the back side of the metal disc. There's a, it's supposed to be glue. It's supposed to be glued down. And over time, that'll just kind of come off. And I tried to press it back on there. Um, it wouldn't stay. It ended up coming right back off within a couple minutes. And I had the same problem. So you could try to glue that back down somehow. But I didn't know what kind of glue to use. I actually found a replacement on Amazon. And I will put that link in the description. But I found a whole new unit that does not have any guts. It does not have the circuit board in it. So it's actually cheap. But guess what? I don't need the circuit board. All I need really is this rubber, this rubber coating. So I'm going to just take the new one back apart. Take my new key there. Take it apart. And really you'll see this new one is hollow there's no circuit board that's why it's cheap but it does have it's a little different style but it does have the metal discs on it which is what I need so I'm going to take my circuit board put it in the replacement um, rubber piece here and put it back in my my original frame my original key fob frame here yep and I will go ahead and put the battery back in now. It is a CR2032 battery if you are replacing it. And also, if you're just if you have a torn rubber piece, you could also use that replacement key fob to to acquire yourself a new rubber uh, piece there. Then just put it back together. Snaps back together. You can put your key back in it. Good as new. It works.